welcome to another Swiggin Steve's Bargain Beer Review. Thanks for watching, I uh, really appreciate you coming to watch these videos. It's all about spreading the word of real ale at real good prices. And this week uh, we have got Take Courage, Best Bitter. Okay? Um, and, well, I don't know how to start with this really because uh, it, Courage is, it, this beer is brewed by Charles and Wells. No, Charlie Wells, whatever you want to, or Youngs and Wells, sorry. Charlie Wells and Youngs, or whatever it's called. Uh, basically, Charlie Wells and Youngs amalgamated into one brewery. I'm not sure when, but they did. And they've, they, I think they're taking over a few other of these the breweries that are starting to struggle to make ends meet, um, or just for whatever reason. Uh, but I remember Bombardier's like their flagship beer. So, World Bombardier, and it's the beer that sort of, like represents... You know, it annoys me a little bit because it's this beer that sort of represents Britain. You know, the the, uh, the idea of it being like a fighting beer. You know, uh, all that patriotic uh, attachment to it, which I hate because that beer isn't very good. Um, how I, I did, I remember enjoying. I remember enjoying that beer when I was younger, and I thought I'd just grow out of it, thinking, "Oh, my, my tastes have changed. I don't like that anymore." And then I remember when I first started watching other bloggers or other reviewers, whatever you want to call them, uh, doing reviews and I remember one of the first ones I saw were Beer Goggles Review with Terry Kay and he highlighted that there was E numbers in the beer and I was shocked about that and it, I, put, I kind of put in my mind, put two and two together and I thought well that must be why, I must have known, like my taste palate must have been telling me that this beer is, in, there's something not right about it or it doesn't taste right uh, and I remember having um I think I had their banana bread beer not long ago, and it tasted awful. It tasted awful. It wasn't like it. I, I don't remember banana bread beer tasting like that. Um, so I, the 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 I mean, putting e numbers in a beer that's diabolical. That's wrong. That shouldn't do. It shouldn't be putting e numbers in a beer. It should be. It should be an honest thing brewing. It should. There should be things in there. We should be told what's on the back of this beer, uh, and it should be there to be enjoyed. So um, this is brewed by that brewery. So, I'm going to be open-minded. I don't know. Maybe this this beer is nice. I have had Courage a long time ago. don't actually know if I've drunk Courage, actually. I know I've had Directors and I've had uh, Young's beers. And, and yeah. So, we'll, we'll see what it's like. I mean, they have, again, they have their own unique bottles. Um, look lovely. You know, really nice blue uh, logo with a little cockerel thing on the front. Um, again, we've got a beer cap there. And I've not got that one, so that's going straight in the collection. So, thumbs up for that. Um, lovely bottle. Independent family brewers. So, we'll see. We'll see, you know. So, I, tell you, I like this bottle opener because I don't damage the caps when I open it. So, there's a little tiny mark on that, actually. I haven't said that. But it takes them off really nice. I don't get dints in it. So, when I put it in my little dispense, I've got a little folder with them all in. I can put it in there. And that's cool. Um, not getting a lot, not getting a lot off that at all. There's a, a malty smell to that. There's a malty smell to that, and that is it. So far, so far. Um, so there you go. Very bubbly. The carbonation there looks very sort of Coca-Cola, shall we say? Um, oh, it doesn't smell very good either. It smells a little bit. Oh, it's a bit better, that's a bit better. We're swishing it around a little bit. Sometimes when you clean glasses, the water, it's actually the water in the glass that smells horrible. Just a little thing, I hope I'm not being condescending as well to people that are watching this, because I don't intend to be, I'm just saying things that, even some of the things I tell you, things I would have picked up on, you know, when I first got into beers, like the temperatures and stuff, and sometimes people are like, yeah, we know that, you know, but if I am being condescending, just leave a comment and say, shut up, Steve, you know, stop being condescending. Um. What am I getting off it? I'm getting a slight malty flavour off it, slight nutty smell coming off that. A bit, a bit dodgy. I'm not keen. There's not a lot, not a lot. I'm really trying here. Then there was a little bit of a. It, before drinking this, I think it, it smells thin. It just smells like there's not a lot to it. It smells really watery. 
And then there's a little bit, a little bit of um, a subtle, for quite a distant toffee note, but not a lot. I, I can't get a lot of that. Slightly metallic-y, you know. That metallic -y smell, it's not, it's not great. Sometimes it can be quite nice, a metallic -y smell, if it's... But the, in, in this case, it's, it just comes, smells like it's come out of a tin or something, you know. Here we go. Um Okay. So far, okay. When you take the thing is with beers like this, you do need to sometimes because they're quite thin. You have to give them a few gulps to really like kick. I mean, it's it's three point. It was one pound twenty five by the way, this beer, but it's it's three point six percent. So it's not massively strong. Oh, it doesn't taste great. It doesn't taste good. It, I'm thinking of that Bass beer again. It, it's got that. It's almost like they, they all come out of the same place. It just tastes like that again. There's just not a lot going off. A nice enough colour. You know, you've kind of like got a, a nice sort of like um, uh, an amber almost colour there going off. Um, but not a lot on the smell. It's just, it's very uninspiring. It, it's a kind of, if, if you see this, I mean, this I got this as part of a deal. There were four beers for um, five pound, which is brilliant. Again, Asda, preaching Asda a bit. Um, I, I, and by the way, I won't preach. I, I'm not getting paid by Asda to do this, you know. And I, now I'm, I will refuse to get paid by anybody to sell stuff. Okay, so all the I will be honest about all the things I drink. All right, I'm not going to say something's brilliant because someone's paid me to say it. I will not do that. A lot of that going around, isn't there, on YouTube at the moment? It's been on the TV and stuff. Come on now. I'm expecting flavours to come in, it's like... Mm. Yeah. There is flavours in there. It's malty, slight bready notes. Um, there's ops in it as well. Don't know what ops are used in it. I would say again, your your standards, your maybe a fuggles in there. It just it's very uninspired. It reminds me of like going to a pub that don't have any real ales on. Uh, a pub they might have one on. It's like a sports bar or something like that, and they might have one on, and it might be something like this or Green King IPA. You know, it's that kind of beer. It's like there's just nothing there. I'm really struggling to pick anything up off it. There's like there's a toffee, you know. It's everything's it's balanced, but it's that delicately balanced. There's nothing there, you know. It's like I want at least something to come out and say. It's like the, I, I reviewed the the uh, Marsden's EPA. Now that was also three about three point six percent. It might be a bit more than that. Still in that territory. But that had loads of flavour. It was so lovely to drink. It was so sessionable. This. I got a little bit on the bit. It's like. It don't. It don't taste inspiring. It just t It's like. It's, it, the the flavour's making me feel a bit like. Ugh, it's like metallic It's Very uninspiring. This for me. If we're going to put scores on the doors. Um, before I put scores on those, I just like to read what's on the bottle. So it says here, balanced multi flavour with a distinctive hop character. Definitely not. That isn't a distinctive hop character by any means. If that's a distinctive hop character, who writes this? Who are they, who are, who are they paying to write this on the bottles? Because that isn't a distinctive hop character by any means. Um, it's multi, yeah. There is hops in it, but it ain't distinctive. But anyway, it's 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 pretty boring to be fair. Um, so I've got to put the scores on the doors here. Um, if I saw this in a pub on draft, and there was just lagers on, of course I would go for it. If there was this in a pub 
and there was uh, Bass on. So let's let's compare it to Bass that I, re I reeled recently. I'd go for Bass, I think, over this. Which would put this lower than Bass. I would give this a 5.5 .5 out of 10. Uh, uninspiring, a little bit boring, a little bit metallic. It just tastes like there's nothing to it. You know, I feel like um, there's a lot better beers out there at the same price that are so much better. The EPA that I tried the other day, oh, out of this world, fantastic. Jennings beer, theirs is lovely, that was a pound. You know, there's beers out there, go to uh, B&M, there's beers at £1.19 a bottle, and this, they're so much better than this. And this is on only on offer because it's on deal with other beers, that went £1.25 on its own. So normally that's about one pound eighty or something like that, and oh, no way. If you pay that, you've been robbed if you pay that for it, unfortunately. So that's it. Uh, my review. The cat's come in. He's ready to eat. He wants some food. So that's my uh, sign. I think to finish. Uh, if you want to visit their website, I am looking really hard to find a website on there. Why is there no website? There is a website for Charlie Wilson. I think I've visited it at some point. You'd have thought they'd put it on the bottle. Uh, oh, it says it's crafted over 200 years of Great British history. Well, it's a shame it's like it is, I'm afraid. I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. It's not very nice. Uh, oh, and it has its state of the E numbers that are in here. Colour E15C. E150C. Stabiliser. E. What's a stabiliser? I thought you put stabilisers on your bike when you, couldn't, when you couldn't ride your bike properly, you know. Uh, uh, E405. Oh, and there's more e-numbers that are coming through. Oh, this isn't right. And it's, it's got loads of different... All that is in different languages, so they're obviously selling this abroad. It's mass-produced, disappointing, 5.5. There's better beers out there. Don't bother. See you next time.